<laughs> let's get the, the phone off the camera. Uh, <laughs> welcome, everybody, to another board game night here on DM Nord TV. Uh, tonight, I'm joined with a panel of new players uh, to play uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill, a nice uh, spooky October game. Uh, new players, why don't we introduce ourselves? You echo. There's the echo. Okay. Well, Here we it's go. probably because you've got Twitch open. Just, uh, oh, just yeah. yeah I, had, I had two times the windows <laughs> open, so I've got only one now. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So new player number one, CCM. Okay, well, hey. I'm Laurier. I mostly play Dice Masters with these folks. I am part of the DM North TV crew, just not on the Twitch side, more on the blog side. So <laughs> first time playing this. We'll see how that goes. I'll and probably be horrible. you are joined uh, by your lovely wife. Hello. My much better half. <laughs> much better half. And then finally, subbing in for Comics Mike. <clears throat> I was playing anyways, but <laughs> if he had been here too, we have been great. But, uh, this is Jason. Um, <laughs> so these Hi, guys Jason. are all masters as well. Hello. Um, so oh, I got to keep that off screen. This is also how I'm going to be changing scenes. Um, okay, so we are playing uh, Betrayal House on the Hill. This is a uh, three to six player game, and it is uh, it's it's kind of interesting because it starts off as kind of a co-op game where you're working together, you're exploring this haunted house, trying to find items, uh, make your characters more powerful, and then at some point in the game, it is going to turn into a one versus all game, where. Uh, one of us is going to be a traitor, and we don't know which one of us it is, and we won't know until it happens. Um, so, essentially, uh, we've already chosen our characters, and basically what we're going to do is going to be moving around the house. Uh, you can move up to your speed value, so you should all know what your base speed is. Um, and moving is literally one room to the other, so that's one, two, three to go up the stairs. Um, to move to another room, you just move into it, and then we will pick a new room off of off of there um, as long as it matches whatever level you're on and then when you flip it over it's going to tell you something to do um, the rooms will either be blanked which will allow you to keep on moving or they're going to have a symbol on it those symbols are going to match one of these three things either an event which is something will happen to you um, an item which is basically it's an item you're going to be able to use later in the game which is usually a good thing or an omen, which is a item, but it's a bad item. Because uh, the more omens that are in the game, the more likely we're going to reach the uh, the haunting, they call it, or the haunt. Um, so essentially, there are going to be three levels to this house. The main level, the ground level, the upper level, and a basement. Um, we'll kind of jig things around as we need to, but right now we'll kind of leave the setup like this. Um... Yeah, I think this is kind of a plays-you-go type of game. Um, you you kind of learn what learn what you need. Um, do you guys have any other like specific questions? Because I, I, dice are going to come into play. We'll talk about that when it happens. Um, but do you guys have any specific I'm, questions right now? So yeah, I'm interested in knowing about how when we go into the room and we get one of the three cards, how are we going to be able to know that privately from? The other no players are not supposed to know that privately. No, this is all public information. Like it's okay. it, this isn't anything you need to hide um, at okay. this stage of the game. The only time like it's hidden information. So the only hidden information right now in the game are in these two books, um, the Traitor's Tomb and the Secrets of Survival. And we won't be looking okay. at these books until the time comes. Um, all right, so those aside, got it. All right. Yeah, yeah. So w when the time comes, we'll talk about exactly how we're going to deal with those. Um, okay. But yeah, item wise, like I, I, it's no problem if I know what you have or if, or if any of us know what we have. Sure. Yeah. Um, even when it does become the trader part, they're still going to know what items everybody has. Um, the only thing that's going to be kind of hidden information when that happens is how we win the game, because the winning condition will be different for the for the the good guys and the bad guy. Sure. Mm -hmm. Gal in this case, because we yes, have, or, have but, yes. yeah. Um, <laughs> so we have all chosen our characters. Um so I am Missy Dubord. Uh I am nine years old. I stand four feet two inches tall. I weigh sixty-two pounds. 
My hobbies are swimming and medicine, and I was born on the February the 14th. Um, oh, actually, why don't we talk about uh, the characters for a second here? Um, I need my pointing stick. So on your character card, you're going to notice four stats. This side of the card, mm -hmm. the might and the speed are your physical stats. Sanity and knowledge are your mental stats. Uh, speed is how many spaces you can move. Might is how you fight. Okay. Uh, sanity and knowledge are going to be... There's going to be times where you're going to need to roll for those type of things. Um, how you use those is... Uh, so my, my sanity... Well, let's go might. Might is three. That means if I'm in a fight, I'm going to roll three dice type of thing. And as your, as your thing goes up, you're going to get to roll more. As it goes down, you're going to get to roll less. Um, as it goes down, so before the hunt, the haunt, um, you cannot go below your lowest number. Okay, so there is a little skull icon on there. When you hit the skull, uh, when your haunt is active, you're dead. Um, but b before the haunt, you cannot hit actually hit the skull. You'll just hit your, your minimum number. Um, but yeah, we have all those stats and... Um, when you take damage, so if it says take physical damage, you can choose where you want to take it from. If it says take mental damage, you can choose how you want to split it up. So again, when that happens, we can talk exactly what you want to do there. Uh, yeah. but, um, so I don't know if you want us to tell you right now what our starting levels are, or if you know already. Uh, I've got them in front of me, so I'm hoping they're correct. Uh, so why don't we go to Brandon Jespers? <laughs> Do you, do you have all of Brandon's stats on your little companion app, or do I need to read all your... Yes. Okay. My default apparently is on the third dial for speed, fourth dial for might, fourth dial for sanity, and third dial for knowledge. Okay. It says he starts on four on my card. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's it's four speed, but it's the third dial. There's oh! two dials before. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah. But uh, does it say his age and all that stuff? you got to get the stats. I don't have that. Okay. I just have the base. I just have the stats in front okay. of me. Okay. So app. Brandon Jaspers is is Laurier. He is twelve years old. Stands five one. Weighs one hundred nine pounds. His hobbies include computers, camping, Ooh. hockey, and his birthday is May twenty first. You're, you're probably wondering why we care about birthdays, but that will come apparent in a second here. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea, you are Ox Bellows. Uh, you are twenty three years old. You stand six four. Weighed in at two hundred eighty eight pounds. Your hobbies include football and shiny objects. Uh, your birthday is October 18th. Oh, I think we know who's who's going to win this one. <laughs> Hopefully, isn't the traitor. And Jason is Jenny Leclerc. Claire? Clerk? I don't pronounce the C, do I? Leclerc. Leclerc. <laughs> you are also 21 years old, stand 5'7, weigh 142 pounds. And your hobbies include reading and soccer. Your birthday is March 4th. Um, so the reason the, the birthdays are important actually is to determine who the first player is. So the first player is the next birthday closest to the day you are playing the game. So today is October 15th and October 18th is a couple days away. So Ox will be first. Yep. Uh, and if my little thing... We'll go by windows. So Ox will be first, Jenny will be second, Missy will be third, and Brandon will be last. Um, so let's just get to it. Um, so Ox, you're this. Now these miniatures are super ugly, but this is what the game gave us. <laughs> I do apologize for those. Um, so Ox. You have a speed of four, if my dial is correct. Which one is Ox? Uh, this ugly red one right here. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, you have a speed of four. That means you can move up to four spaces. Um, what would you like to do? So your choices are you can move this way to go upstairs, or you can go into one of the adjacent rooms. So these little doors are adjacent rooms. Um... You can't actually go to the basement. You're going to accidentally end up there at some point. You're going to fall there, yeah. So what would you like to do? Stay on this floor and explore a little? Or do you want to go up the stairs? I'll go up the stairs. Okay. So you're going to move then one, two, three. And which way would you like to go for your fourth movement? We're going to use north, south, west, and east. No left and right. <laughs> 
Uh, west. West. Okay, so you're going to go west. Now, then we're going to look at this pile. This is the next set of rooms. So the room that you're going into has to match the floor you're in. So she is on the second floor, okay. so the ground level can't be used. So that gets discarded. So this one can. It can go in the upper level or the basement. So you are in the vault. So Ooh. it says you can attempt a knowledge roll of six plus to open and empty the vault. However, you can't do that right this instant. Um, you have to solve. You have to answer. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get away from there. There we go. We have to solve for this symbol. So that is an event. So we take an event card, we flip it over, and it says something hidden. There's something odd about this room, but what? It's ticking, it's tickling, oh my God. It's tickling the back of your mind. If you want to try to figure out what's odd, attempt a knowledge roll. On a four plus, um, a section of the wall slides away, revealing an alcove, draw an item card. On a zero to three, you can't figure it out and makes you a bit crazy, lose one sanity. So a knowledge roll, your knowledge is, what is your knowledge? Three. Three. So that means you get to roll three dice and you must okay. get four plus to, to be successful. Okay. Okay. So we're going to roll three dice and you got one. So that was not successful. So that means you... I got one with three dice? You got one. Those those dice are zero, one, two dice. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. These are not these are not good dice. <laughs> these are bad, bad <laughs> dice. <laughs> All right. So, so I lose one sanity. Yes. So you are now down to two. Is it bugging me? And that is your turn. Okay. Uh, Jenny, what would you like to do? Yes. <clears throat> I. Let's go to the east. Let's go to the east. Which one is Jenny, the purple one? Uh, basement is no good. Ground is okay. You are in... Uh, let's go here. The patio. So that does have a symbol, so that will stop your movement. Uh, and it's another event. Uh, mists from the walls. Um, do you want me to read these all, or if you've got them, do you want to dig it out and read it, or...? Well, I'd have to go through the pile to get to okay, it. Okay, I'll, I'll read it then. <laughs> mist from the walls. Mists pour out from the walls. There are faces in the mist, human and inhuman. Each explorer in the basement must attempt a sanity roll. There is nobody in the basement. Um, Wait, could you check to make sure it's actually for the ground floor? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> um, each in the basement must attempt a sanity roll. Uh, nothing happens. Each result only affects the explorer making that roll. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. Is that an omen? What's that? That's not an omen. No. That wasn't an omen. That yeah. was that wasn't an omen. That was a that was a event. Okay. I did grab an event. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I will go into the patio as well. I have. Where's my thing? I got five speed. Uh, let's go north. I'm in the bloody room. And that gets me an item. I get the idol. Perhaps it's chosen you for some greater purpose like human sacrifice. Once per turn, you can rub the idol before making any trait, combat, or event roll to add two dice to the roll to a maximum of eight dice. Each time you do, lose one sanity. Okay. So I'll save that for later. Uh, we're with. Uh, what is your name? Brandon. <laughs> okay, that, that invites itself to too many jokes. I'm starting to regret that choice, but whatever. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, that's. Um, <laughs> I didn't even include that. Let's go, Brandon. What? Let's go, Brandon. Oh. Okay, Brandon. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to regret this. Okay. Um, I am going to follow in your footsteps. Uh, how far can you move? Four. Which way do you want to go? And then I'm going to go east. 
You're gonna go east one more, so we can't use that one. Can't use that one, can't use that one. Holy cow. Well, we'll be shuffling these pretty quick. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> east. It is the ballroom. Can we see you on the... <laughs> oh, where are you? There you are. Uh, that is an event card. Okay. Pos po possession. A shadow separates from the wall as you stand in shock. The shadow surrounds you and chills you to the core. You must choose any one trait and attempt a roll for that trait. On a 4+, plus, you resist the shadow's corruption. Gain one in a trait of your choice. On a 0-3, to three, the shadow drains your energy. The chosen trait drops to its lowest value. It doesn't drop to the skull. If that trait is already at its lowest value, lower a different trait to its lowest value. So what's your best trait? Here's the thing. I have speed, might, and I think I would choose speed because even if it drops to its lowest value, it would uh, still be a three. And it's also only a couple of dials that I would lose compared to might and sanity that are three dials up currently. Okay. I think I'm going to... So you're going to go I for... Think I'm gonna, gonna go for speed. a speed of four? Yes. Okay. So you need... Four plus on four dice. Oh my gosh. Roll them well. <laughs> oh, that's plenty. Oh yes, that's seven. Perfect. Plenty. So I get to add one to a stat of my choice. Now, if I spin up knowledge, I go up to five. Yeah. That to me seems like a good good thing to do. Basically, so the goal in this part of the game is, like I said, get your character as strong as humanly possible. Is what we're trying to well, do. Well, are you trying to tell me I should go might? Like, is there? Well, no, 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 no. Stat? Like strong in general. Like, get your stats up. So, I mean, yeah. th going from a three to five is pretty good. Yeah. So spin me up on knowledge. Okay. Five. Got you to five. Uh, we are back to Ox. Ox is all alone upstairs. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to drop things on you. Going nuts from the ticking. So you have a couple. Yeah. You have a couple choices before you move. You can try to unlock the vault. If you do, you're going to get two items. Um, to do it, you have to... What did it say again? Uh, you, knowledge roll. Knowledge roll of 6 plus to empty the vault. And your Is knowledge... there anything bad that happens if she misses it? No. You just don't get... You just don't get the items. Well, the last time I got something bad happened to me. No, but this one, there's no consequence if you miss it. Yeah, oh, you just you well, just, let's, just let's walk do away. It then. Okay, so your knowledge is three. Three. So, so, mm -hmm. so you just need a perfect roll. That is not perfect. <laughs> okay. okay. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I am not taking blame for the bad rolls. <laughs> sure you don't. Well, then Laura asked you nicely and you rolled a good one. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to push the dice out of the... Or I'm going to move the dice over to the basement because we're not there yet. Um, where would you like to go? Because you still have... Uh, where can I go? Uh, you actually can't stay in the... Well, the vault is a dead end. Yeah. So you're going to want uh, to leave there. North, south, east, and west are options. So that'll be one north, to get you out south, of there. East. Yeah. We're going east? Uh, north. North. Okay, north, and we are still good. We got an upper one right here. North. Yeah, north. <laughs> uh, which way do you want to go? Do you want the doors this way or this way? Uh, what? Um, what's the first way? So this way. So this exit for this way is this way, which makes okay. my, my setup easier. <laughs> <laughs> or, well, let's make your setup easier. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll go that way. So, you're going to go to the library. Uh, once per game, Ooh. if you end your turn here, gain one knowledge. So you will Ooh. be gaining knowledge, but first got to solve the event. Uh, locked safe. Oh, let's move you. I'm so bad at moving the camera. Uh, locked safe. Behind a portrait is a wall safe. It is, It is trapped, of course. Put the safe token in this room. Um, 
Let's dig out all our tokens. Safe. Boom. Um, once during explorer's turn, that explorer can attempt a knowledge roll to open the safe. On a 5 plus, draw two item cards and remove the safe token. On a 2 to 4, take one die of physical damage. The safe won't open. On a 0 to 1, take two dice of physical damage. The safe won't open. With uh, you only having three knowledge, I wouldn't try that right now, love. Stay in the library. Yeah, I think I will stay in the library. Okay, I'm going to leave this one up to help us remember how that works. Yeah. Um, so you end the turn in your library, so you do gain one knowledge. Yeah. So you are at... Which way's up for you? Four. Uh... Knowledge... No, it's not. I just... You're still at three, aren't you? Three. Yeah, I'm still at three. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh... Three knowledge plus one knowledge equals three knowledge. <laughs> That's right. Tell us how good that <laughs> ox bubbles is at math. That's right. <laughs> he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would be good at math. Jenny, <laughs> what would you like to do? He seems like he'd better at, be better at meth than at math. <laughs> probably, oh. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> We're on me, right? <laughs> We're on you, yeah. Uh, let's go up north two times. One, two, and we are looking for a ground floor. There's a ground floor. It is the game room. Kind of suitable. Yes. Uh, it is an event. We have not gotten a single omen so far. What the? As you look back the way you came, you see nothing. Just empty fog and mist where the room used to be. Pick up the tile for the room you are in. <laughs> After setting everything on it aside, put somewhere put it somewhere else on the same floor of the house so its door is attached to a different unexplored doorway and put back everything you set aside. If there isn't an unexplored doorway on this floor, move the room to a different floor. Uh, so your room goes somewhere else. Where do you do have to go somewhere like on the west side or by the patio or something? Um, or? Any, any unexplored door. So you can go here, here... Here, 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 here. Uh, put I mean, it down to, by the patio. Or do we want to open up this side a little bit? We can go that way, too. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Go right there. Does that work? Sure. Sure. Okay, uh, now it is the little girl's turn. Um, well, we're going to go north into the, the next room. <laughs> That's no longer there. <laughs> That's no longer there. <laughs> and it I moved. And I'm in the graveyard. Uh, when exiting, you must attempt a sanity roll of 4+. plus. If you fail, lose one knowledge, but continue moving. And that is... Oops. An event. Is, again, that is an so. event. Debris. Plaster falls from the walls and ceiling. You must attempt a speed roll. On a 3+, plus, you dodge the plaster, gain one speed. On a 1-2, to two, you're buried in debris. Take one die of physical damage. On a 0... You're buried in debris. Take two dice of physical damage. If you're buried, keep this card. You can't do anything until you're freed. Oh my god. Once during an explorer's turn, that explorer can attempt a might roll to free you. You can also attempt this roll. A four plus succeeds. After three unsuccessful attempts, you break free automatically on your next turn and take the turn normally. Discard this card when you're free. So I need to roll a speed roll. Thankfully, I have a lot of speed. I've got five. And I need a three or more. There's no way I screw this up, right? Oh, don't say that. Last Four. Oh, you got it <laughs> I am fast. You tried to jinx uh, yourself. You a, and, you, and you gain a speed. And I gain a speed. I go fast. Six. Um, and then that's my turn. Uh, so uh, I want to say it every time. Oh no! <laughs> but I won't. I have created a monster. I won't. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to head all the way west to Jason and then north. One, two, three, and you got enough movement for that? I don't know what you got. Yeah, I have, I'm at four. Okay, and then north, you said? Yeah. Okay, that will work. The organ room, and Ooh. that is another event. Lights out. Your flashlight goes out. Don't worry, someone else has batteries. 
Keep this card. You can move only one space each turn until you end your turn in the same room as another explorer. At the end of that turn, discard this card, then you can move normally again. If you have the candle or end your turn in the furnace room, discard this card. So you can only move one space at a time until uh, someone, till you end your turn with somebody else. Okay. So Which is convenient because there's somebody else right next to you. Yeah, but Jason's going to move, right? So. Yeah, he could be nice and just wait for you or... Just bugger off. <laughs> yeah, it's like, see ya. <laughs> um, Ox. It's my turn that ends. It can't be another explorer that ends their turn with me. Right. Ox, what would you oh, like man. to do? Oh, Ox is way over here. Sorry. So. Alright, love. Your turn. Yeah. Um... Don't forget that safe, would, that safe is there if you really feel like opening it. I wouldn't okay. risk it. Uh, try going to the uh, west. Going to the west, <laughs> and that is allowed. The charred room. This is our first omen. Uh-oh. Okay, so you're in the room. We have a omen. The omen you have is bite. I don't think this is going to be good. Oh. A growl, the scent of death, pain, darkness, gone. When you draw this card, something bites you. The player on your right... Uh, who would be on your right? That would be... Jenny. The next player? Jenny is on your right. Okay. Um, the player on your right rolls a might for attack against you for the mysterious something before it runs away into the darkness. You defend against this attack as normal by rolling dice equal to your might. This omen can't be dropped, traded, or stolen. Make a haunt roll now. So, what mm. is Jenny's might is a four. So you're going to be rolling four. four dice. And then you are going to be rolling four dice in defense. And it just so, happens once. Okay. Essentially, I have a geez. might of five. So you, in theory, you should be okay. So, wait, so Might of Five is what Ox yeah. Bellows has, apparently. Right, right. Four so, against five Jenny's might. attacking the thing that's in this, that bit you, but it's attacking you, basically. So, roll four, you roll four dice. I'm rolling them. Okay. Uh, I got a one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so all you gotta do is five dice is do better than one. You're good. See, look at that. Wait, what <laughs> happens with the difference, though? Uh, the difference is the damage you would take. Yeah, but what happens if you attack someone and you fail on your attack? The, is, is no, there no attack. So he's deal thing? he's dealing you one damage, and you're protected against two, four, six, eight damage. So nothing, nothing happens. You take no damage. He's attacking me. I thought he was attacking on behalf of... He was rolling for the animal or whatever it is. Yeah. So basically, oh, he, he rolled on. it. Hang on. It says here, when you make an attack, roll a number of dice equal to your might. Your yep. opponent does the same. Whoever rolls a higher result defeats his or her opponent and inflicts physical damage against the other explorer monster. Yeah, you're it defending against the monster. Say, yeah, I'm defending against yeah. the whatever. Whatever bit her. It's trying to bite me. Yeah, it's, it's dead. Me. It's dead. I thought it said against you. Oh boy. No, no, the, no. The player's rolling. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So on. Be so he was rolling on behalf of the thing. Okay. Yes. Now I get it. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Sorry. So yeah. now we have to do what's called the uh, the haunt roll. So we are rolling six dice. Oh, let's let's bring up our our haunt thing because now that's a thing. Uh, toggle that. Did it come up? Nope. Okay, so now we have one omen card in play. So, with the haunt roll, you roll six dice. You must have a roll equal to or higher than the number of omen cards in play right now. So in other words, if you roll all zeros for us, Jordo, we are screwed. Yeah, if we roll all zeros, we're in trouble. 
Okay. <laughs> Look, no problem. No problem. No problem. Who throws that? That's that's easy. He's getting all his good rolls out now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're we're good. We're good, guys. Um Jenny, where are you, Jenny? You're way over here. Um, I can actually flip you to the other side too to That was my roll. That was uh that was your haunt roll. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you pronounce Jenny's name again? Uh Jenny Leclerc. Okay, good. I was about to get the cut the cheese <laughs> word on you. Uh, what would you like to do, Jenny? Oh, so if I stay there, it helps him, but it also doesn't help us find more things. Yeah. I, so I mean, if you want to be helpful to him, just stay one room away from him. So, I mean, you could run here and here. Actually, yeah, if you do that, that would be Oh, great okay. I didn't see the other door there. Yeah, I'll go north and then to the west. That'll work. Okay, so we can't use that. We can't use that. There we go. Junk room. When exiting, you must attempt a might roll of 3+. plus. If you fail, lose one speed, but continue moving. And an omen. Oh, dear. Okay, your omen is a spirit board, a board with letters and numbers to call the dead. Before you move during your turn, you can look at the top tile of the room stack. If you use the spirit board after the haunt has been revealed, the traitor can move any number of monsters one space closer to you. If you are the traitor, you don't have to move those monsters. If there's no traitor, all monsters move one space closer to you. Make a haunt roll now. So you have a spirit board. Okay. Uh, so basically that's going to... Like an item, kind of. Yeah, it's going to let you kind of preview the, the rooms coming up. Okay. So I will give that to Jenny. And then you've got that. And do you want to do the haunt rolls? Oh, hang on. we got to up the haunts. Increase. We are now at two omens. Do I have to roll six dice? Six dice. You need a two or higher. Oh, boy. Uh, we have four. Perfect. <laughs> that's, that's what I want to hear. Uh, it wasn't great. <laughs> that sounds a little bit close for comfort to me. I know, I know. When when we played it the first time with uh, Kim, Mike, and myself, we got the haunt way too early, and we were just dead. Like there was there was no coming back from it. Um, where am I? Oh, I'll I'm... be honest now, Jason. I don't want to join you because I don't want to have to do that might roll. Okay, so for me to move, I must attempt a sanity roll of four plus. If I fail, lose one knowledge. So my sanity is currently three. So let's get three dice. And I need a, what did I say? A three, four. a four or better. Yeah. Uh, that's that three. three, so I lose one knowledge. I'm a little dumber for doing oh, no, that. You're, you lose a sanity, don't you? Uh, sanity lose one knowledge. Oh, it's one knowledge, okay. I have to roll for sanity, then I lose knowledge. Oops, that's the wrong way. Oh, I'm still at four, that's okay. Um, okay, so I did leave, so that's one movement. Do I want to go upstairs? Sure. So that's one, two, three, four. Um, you can I'm try gonna... to save and get yourself hurt. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not bad. Um, what, is, what do I have to roll? Uh, what was the safe? Knowledge. Oh, didn't I just lose knowledge? Four. Five. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. Um, but you don't have to roll the safe, do you? Well, I'm I'm legally obligated to try, right? Uh, I'm gonna go this way and see what's what's out there. He is the avatar of chaos. I am. This is the right. mystic elevator. Once per get turn. your knowledge up. In the corner. Uh, anyway. once, once per turn, roll two dice and move this room next to any open door on wherever it is. So this elevator is going to move all over the place. Um, so, so there's no symbol there. Um, so I can do, I can still move, right? So I did one, two, three, four, five. Do I just use the elevator and go somewhere? Sure. The elevator, it's so the tile moves? Yeah, the tile moves. So I'm going to roll... What is it? Two dice. No, I'm not going to... I'm going to save the elevator. We might need it. I'm just going to come back out there. 
that's the end of my turn. I didn't I didn't get anything. So it's my turn? It is. Hello, Jocelyn. Oh, or I'm Aloha. not sure if I want to move to Jason because I don't want to have to like, <laughs> wade through the junk room. Well, you can you can move one space somewhere else. <laughs> one one space south, I think, is what I have to do. And that's the end of your turn. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> kind of sucks. Uh, where are we back? Ox. Where's Ox? Ox is way over here. Ox, what would you like to do? Oh, hang on. Let's uh, the cameras it needs to go on the other side. There we go. Ox, what would you like to do? Can I go south? Uh, no. There's no door here. Okay. Like uh, if you if you want to go back there, you can move around. Yeah, I know. I don't. I was thinking something else. Um, I'll move back into the library. Okay. And then I can go north, uh, east, or south. You can or go south. No. There is no north. Just south. Okay. And I'll go south, obviously. It's the only option. That's two movements, so what do you have left? You have two more if you want. One, two more. <laughs> Um, uh, did it take only one movement to, to move the elevator? Uh, one there, and then you just roll two dice to see where you end up. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, so wait, wait, uh, why? Before well, you do that, actually, Bob... actually, before I do that, um, instead of going in the in the elevator, I just like to finish my turn in the library. Oh, okay, so go up here and end your turn there? Yeah, because I got a knowledge for it. Yep. Oh, wait, isn't it once per game? Uh, Once per game, you're right, sorry. Oh. Yeah, you already did that. Okay, well then, elevator it is. Elevator it is. And we got to roll. Why did, be before you do that, Matt, why did you say we might need it later? <laughs> <laughs> well, because we don't know what's going to happen, and it's a quick escape. <laughs> if if the shit hits the fan, <laughs> oh, and we're stuck, it's it's a way to get get around and get away from monsters. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I'm just thinking right now. Do I need to take the elevator? No. Like I'm not. I, I wasn't desperate to take it. So it's up to you. If you want to take it, that's fine. Like, don't feel. <laughs> Just, like exploring, you know. Okay. It's gonna take me somewhere random. Okay. Right. So we roll two dice. Uh, on a four, you get to go to any floor. On a three, upper floor. On a two, ground floor. On a one, basement. On a zero, basement. Then take one die of physical damage. You're okay with that? Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna roll zero. Three! You end up on the upper floor, so you stay on the same floor you're at. <laughs> uh, where do you want to go, though? You can go to any door. Crazy elevator. <laughs> can I go north? Uh, so you want the elevator here now? Uh, um, no. <laughs> um, I, I think you can kind of leave it where it is, or move it here, or it's not going to really make a difference. Any option for a new room? Uh, how many movement points have you used? Three, right? Oh. So you've only got one left, so the best you could do is come back into the same room I'm as me. I was going to go out to the main main room there. Okay. With somebody else there. Okay. Uh, that is your turn. Now we are at Jenny. Yeah. Where's Jenny? In the junk room. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Jenny has to to leave, you must attempt a might roll of 3+. plus. If you fail, lose one speed. Okay. So your might is 4, and you need a, what did I say? A 3 or better. 3. Yep. Alright, so let's do some rolling and see what happens here. Oh, 3 on a nose. <laughs> there you go. You're good. Uh, which way were okay, you going? I suggest, I suggest you exit um, east, so that no matter if you, what you explore at, we don't have to go through that door, that room again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I was going to head back and go... 
go east, go south. And I'll go south again and hopefully uh, help out uh, Laurier again. Maybe. Ground. Okay. You are in the garden. The garden is an event. So this is the big problem with this game is it's a bit of a table hog. <laughs> uh, Jonah's turn. Two boys are playing with a wooden top. Would you like to take a turn, Jonah? One asks. No, says Jonah. I want all the turns. Jonah takes the top and hits the other boy in the face. The boy falls. Jonah keeps hitting him as they fade from view. If an explorer has the puzzle box, that explorer discards that item and draws the replacement item for it. If this happens, you gain one sanity. Otherwise, you take one die of mental damage. So nobody has the puzzle box. Nope. Okay. Nope. So what one die of mental damage means is you're going to roll one die, and that's how much damage you will take. So okay. roll a zero. Roll a zero. That'd be nice. Probably roll a two now, because I keep rolling zeros on everything else. I rolled a two. Okay, so <laughs> mental damage is your sanity and knowledge. Um, you can divide that two evenly between yeah, those. Yeah, if I give it to each one of those, I would still stay at my same number, but I'd be pushing the boundaries the next time. So we'll do that. Okay. So I'll move both of them down one. And that is your turn. Um, I'm next. Uh, where am I? I think I'm going to go... Um, we might as well keep exploring, right? Yeah, you're gonna boldly go where no man has gone before. I'm gonna to go. Eat. Oh, way up here. Doesn't seem to be very profitable. Well, I kind of want to try <laughs> this, but I, I can't. There's no way I'm gonna get a six on. What is it? A knowledge roll? No, nah, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna go one, two, and I'm gonna go this way. And we're going to go to the conservatory. On the top floor, taking out over everything else. Um, and that is going to be an event. Secret stairs. A horrible creaking sound echoes around you. You've discovered a secret stairwell. Put one secret stair token. Where are my tokens? I should keep them in a bowl or Bottom something. Bottom right. Secret yeah. stairs. There should be two of those. Secret stairs. Okay. Um, put one secret stair token in this room. Boom. Um, and a second secret stair token in an existing room on another floor. Moving from one secret stair token to the other counts as moving one space. Uh, you can follow the stairs right now, even if you don't have any movement left. If you do follow them this turn, draw an event card in the new room. Uh, where do we want the stairs? Do we want to go to the basement? Or do we want these to get us... Let's see. That would be cool. So right now, this floor has got... This floor has got three exits right now. So we've got this, this, and this. Yeah. Um... Basement. Basement. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of the logical thing, right? It's, we haven't opened it's an, it up yet. Okay. It's an easy to bottom. Yeah. So I'm just going to take... Isn't it also usable for the monsters as well? If oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. them the yes. access to the basement, too. Yep. It does. Uh, so... Uh, what did it say? Uh, you can follow the stairs right now if I do. Uh, if you do, f draw an event for the new room. Okay, so I'm now in the basement. Basement. Uh... Disquieting sounds, a baby's cry, lost and abandoned, a scream, the crack of breaking glass, then silence. Roll six dice. If you roll equal to or more than the number of omens that have been revealed, you gain one sanity. If not, take one die of mental damage. You lucky duck. That's, that's a pretty easy roll. So I gotta get two on six dice. That's not okay, too bad. Okay, well, go for it. Uh, two, four, six. Oh, yeah. So what did I get? I gained a sanity. Yeah. Uh, boom. I need that. Okay. And that... I'm still thinking about that ticking or whatever. And that is my turn. I'm going to get rid of these stupid tokens again. Okay. Uh... Well, my turn is going to be really simple. 
I move south to where Jason is, and he gives me replacement <laughs> batteries for my flashlight. <laughs> and you can discard this card. <laughs> Finally. All right. Okay, that was super exciting. Ox, you're all alone upstairs. What would you like to do? Uh, well, to my... To the west and south is an option. But... Uh, to the west gets you into the vault, and then that's it. Like, there's nowhere you can go from there. Oh, okay, yeah. So look, look for these okay. little, the little yellow symbols. Yeah, little yellow things. Okay, south from the main room. That gets you into the elevator. <laughs> okay, and um, east from the main room? Is empty right now. We don't know what that is. Well, let's, let's go there. Okay. East upper. This is legal. Uh, a collapsed room. Uh, you must. Oh, no. You must attempt a speed roll of five plus to avoid falling. If you fall, oh, sorry, I can't read. Uh, if you fall, uh, fail the roll. Draw a basement tile and put it in play. You fall there and take one die of physical damage. Okay, so you are rolling. Five plus. Oh no, sorry. Uh, what am I rolling? Speed. Yeah, yeah, five. Yeah, speed. Four. Five. So, um, do you want me to roll for you, or do you want Jason to roll for you? You <laughs> 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 want her. <laughs> okay, you need a uh, five on four dice. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Two, four, five. You're good. Get better yeah. uh, to avoid falling, draw if you fail the roll. So you did not fail the roll. Uh, so there is no symbol. Oh, there's, you can't even see you. There are no symbols in this room, so you can continue moving. Okay. So no, you've used one, one point of movement, right? Yeah. Um. That's What's that, love? South? Oh, south. Oh, sorry. Okay, basement is not that allowed. Is not Upper is allowed. <laughs> south is... Statuary Corridor. I am going to move myself off of here. <laughs> because I can't take up too much room. Uh, that is an event. There we go. Uh, it is meant to be... You collapse to the floor, visions of future events pouring through your head. Choose one of these two options. You can look at the top three tiles or cards of any one stack. If you do, rearrange those three tiles or cards in any order and put them back on top. Do not tell anyone the results. Uh, you'll have to tell us the results in this, this case. Uh, you can choose instead to roll four dice and write down the result. For a future die roll of your choice, that you attempt, you can use that number instead of rolling. If that number is higher than the maximum possible result, use the maximum possible result instead. I personally would probably roll the dice. <laughs> yeah, the die rolling sounds like a good Cause, option. Well, because basically you're banking those numbers, right? Yeah. 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 For sure. So you're, let's say you get a six, you could go for your knowledge roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what you're doing? Four dice? Mm -hmm. Okay. So your number is four. <laughs> hey. So just that's actually the safe. That's, that's uh, enough for the safe. Uh, Read the card above uh, the top. Safe is... No, you'll take... No, four is not enough. You need five for the safe. Oh, you need five for the safe? Oh, yeah. darn it. Okay, so cool. just... Oh, no. If you can write that down somewhere that you have a four to use. I'm, I'm writing it down in notepad love. I'm writing it down in my head. Okay. <laughs> um, we are now back to Jenny. Um, Other side of the board. Jenny is going to require me to probably move the stupid... Uh, <laughs> the whole first floor here soon. If you're going south, let me know and I'm going to move everything off screen. I can't see from either piece. Do I have an option to go west still? Uh, hang on a second. Let me uh, move the camera. Nope, I do not have an option to go west. Yeah, your choices are south or go back up. Yeah. Or... 
For your own sanity, uh, let's go east, uh, one, two, three spaces. Uh, east, so you gotta go one, two, three? Oh, there's not one. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I thought there was a door there. Um, yeah, that wouldn't work. Uh, south it is. South it is, okay. The whole floor moves. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to find a ground level. Oh, sweet. This is... Not confusing at all. <laughs> it's, a, it's a creaky oh, hallway. <laughs> what is that? Oh How is there a hallway going in front of the front door? What kind of stupid... <laughs> oh, it's a haunted house. It's a <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's just that freaky old house. I have to say. Um, so that good news is you still have movement because there's no symbols here. I'm totally going to have to make everything confusing and go east. So. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Yeah, do yes. it. Okay. Uh, we're on the abandoned room, which actually has an omen. Uh, so let's, oh, no. let's find the omen oh, here. Never. Ring! A battering, a battered ring with an in incomprehensible inscription. If you attack an opponent that has a sanity trait, you can attack with sanity instead of might. Your opponent then defends with sanity and damage, and damage is mental instead of physical. Make a hot roll now. So that's saved for later. Okay. So, okay. So, so to three. let me get that up. So I need six dice and three or better. You're saying six dice, three or better. You can do it. I have I have faith in you. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, that one I did good. One, two, three, four. Perfect. <laughs> so close. Perfect. Okay. Uh, my turn. Well, I'm in the basement, so let's uh, let's check it out. Um, okay. For the purposes of my sanity, all of this stuff is going off camera. <laughs> uh, I can push this up a little bit. And the basement will move down a little bit. Okay. We're going to go with that. And this is my basement. We're going to go... We'll go west. To the kitchen. Good place for the kitchen. Good place for the kitchen. And I need an omen card. Medallion. A medallion inscribed with a pentagram. That's probably good. Um, you are immune oh, to the yeah. effects of the pentagram chamber, crypt, and graveyard. Oh. Uh, make a haunt roll now. Oh, we got a upper count. Or better. So four on six dice. Starting to get dicey. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. So the game now changes. So we are in the kitchen. So let's find out what's going to happen here. So let's flip this open. Okay. So we are in the kitchen, and it was the medallion that triggered it. We are doing haunt 36. So remember that number. And for 36, uh, Missy Dubord is the traitor. <laughs> that would be moi. <laughs> okay, so... What we are going to do here is uh, I will obviously take this book, The Trader's Tome, and I will go to Haunt 36 and see what I need to do. Um, is that what I said, 36? Was that the right number there? Yes, yeah, 36. 36, yes. yeah. Okay. Um, so I will read this. Um, I'll do, I might as well do it on stream for, for people who are listening or watching. You guys will take the Secrets of Survival and look up Haunt 36 to see what you need to do. Um, what we'll do is uh, I'll do my stuff on stream and then I'll uh, I'll wave or something. Then you guys like for basically uh, mute the Discord or whatever you got to do so you don't hear me. Okay. Uh, then I'll like wave on screen. Uh, then you guys can come back in and then I'll take my headphones off and then you guys can read out what you guys have to do. Okay. Does that sound fair? Sure. So for now, then I have to mute. 
Uh, oh, mute, me. mute, and I will read what's happening. Um, and then, uh, yeah, uh, you guys, you guys can uh, start reading through your thing, your book. And then I'll just get some. One of you can just read it on stream and and say yeah. kind of what's happening and stuff. <laughs> okay, but you'll you'll do that after after I'm done reading my stuff. Okay. Okay. So you guys sneak away for a little bit. Like I said, mute whatever you got to do so you can't hear me, and I'll I'll wait for like five seconds, and then we'll uh, I'll start reading. Still have. Oh. Can anyone hear me? Yes, I can still hear you. I'm trying to figure out how to <laughs> mute your own. <laughs> Muting me. I can't mute you. Uh, or just take your headphones off. I don't have headphones. I'm oh. Sorry, I just, uh, I just got to turn the audio down, so just give me a second. Yeah, no worries. I'll keep asking. Okay, now I'm turning it off. Okay. Can you hear me now? Okay, I'm going to assume... We are safe. Okay. Haunt 36. Better with friends. Uh, many years ago, you, drown you drowned in the underground swamp beneath this house. Since that time, you've existed as a ghost, alone and lost in your watery grave. Then you found the medallion. Its power gave you the chance to return to mortal form and find others who might share your twilight existence with you. You have carefully selected and brought your new friends to the house. Now it is time for them to join you in death. Already you hear the water filling in the basement. You must not let them escape. Death is better with friends. Right now, your explorer is still in the game, but has turned traitor. Put a pentagonal item token in the attic to represent the rowboat. Uh, I will find that in a minute. Um, if the attic isn't in play, put the rowboat token where the attic is discovered. When the attic is discovered. Okay. Set aside four triangular might roll tokens. Set the turn damage track with the plastic clip at zero. You'll use it to keep track of time. Okay, so let's do that right now. Set that back to zero, because apparently that's important. Uh, what, you, what you know about the heroes. The house and surrounded area are sinking into an underground swamp. The heroes will try to escape. You win when either more than half the heroes who started the haunt are dead or the robo is disabled. You must do this. At the end of your turn, advance the turn damage tracker to the next number, beginning with one. Flooding. Depending on the turn, the house will be flooded to different levels. When you advance the turn damage track to a new number, tell the other players which level of the house are flooded and whether the flooding is partial or full. Uh, so turn one, basement partially, basement fully, basement fully flooded. Okay, some different numbers. Flooding affects all heroes, but not you. The effects of flooding are defined by the secrets of the survival booklet. So I will not look at that. Uh, special attack rules. You can attack the rowboat once during your turn, but only with a might attack. You, you can attempt a might roll of three plus to damage the rowboat. Each time you damage the robot, put a might roll token on your character's card. After you have accumulated four tokens, the next successful might attack disables the robot. If you win, your friend's lifeless bodies float across beside your own, bumping gently into each other in the murky water. After a while, they open their eyes and lean and lead them down to the cold, dark water. You lead them home. Uh, so I gotta get some tokens and uh, kill people. Uh, I'm going to get the other guys back on stream, and I will grab the parts and pieces that I need. So uh, hang tight. I'll signal. See if they're watching. Hello? Hello. I saw waving. Okay. So Hi. I need to grab some stuff. Uh, I will take my headphones off. Um, okay. If uh, someone just wants to ping me in Discord when it's safe to come back. Um, before we do that, I just want to make sure because, uh, so it's Haunt 36, right? Yes. Yeah. Do you so have it's the one that's called Better with Friends? Yes. Just to make sure? Yes. Okay. Yes. So whatever that says for you, that's what you need to do. And whatever it says for me, that's what I need to do. So I, like I said, okay. I need, I need to grab some tokens here. So I will take I'll, my headphones. I'll message, yeah, I'll message you on Discord. Yeah. Say, 
just say good. Works for me. So have right. fun, guys. Thanks. Yep. Okay, so I've got it open in front of me. So do you want me to read it? Sure. Okay. The medallion glows a bluish black, pulsing steadily in the gloom. You feel the house shift as water rushes into the basement. Didn't someone mention a boat stored in the attic? All of you immediately run up the stairs, all except the one who brought you here. Your treacherous companion doesn't seem interested in escaping. The house is sinking. You don't have time to figure out why, but you might have enough time to escape. What do you know about the bad guys? The traitor has lured you here to die. The house is sinking into an underground swamp, and you will drown unless you escape. So we win, essentially, when at least half the heroes who started to haunt, so the heroes would be the three of us, and it's half rounded up, escape the house alive. Two of you us. Can't escape, you can't leave any living heroes behind in the house when you escape. Wait, where was I supposed to read this? This is, uh, okay, so this is in the rule book in a part that's called uh, the uh, Survivor's Guide. Secrets of Survival. It's... Oh. Well, anyway. I was reading something else for number 36. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, oops, you were probably reading the wrong thing. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so anyway. So try to forget what you read then. Because you Survivor's so... Guide. How to escape the house. If the attic is not yet in the house, you'll have to search the upper floor until you find it. Yeah. So that's going to be okay. important. <laughs> yes. And then the rowboat is in the attic. Carry it from that room to the balcony or tower. Put the <laughs> rowboat token on easy. your character card while you're carrying it. The rowboat is a heavy item, so while you're carrying it, each room you enter counts as two spaces. Only one explorer can carry the rowboat, but it is a tradable item. The dog cannot carry the rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> so once all, the living, once all the living heroes are in the balcony or tower with the rowboat, you can escape. You can't escape if another living hero is still in the house. So, effect of flooding. If anyone, including the trader, becomes begins a turn on a flooded level of the house, following effects apply. Partially flooded, move two fewer spaces that turn. Fully flooded, move four fewer spaces that turn and take two points of unpreventable physical damage. No matter how flooded the house is, you can always move at least one space each turn. So, uh, slowing the flood, the trader is using the turn slash damage track to mark the passage of time. During your turn, you can drop the medallion in a partially or fully flooded room to stop the sinking for one turn. When you do, discard that card. During the trader's next turn, the turn slash damage track doesn't advance. Make sure the trader doesn't advance it. If you win, paddling... So, yeah, then there's just some narrative thing. If we win. But, okay, so... The medallion, as it happens, is, well, already in the trader's hands. So we're not going to mm -hmm. be able to use that. So the strategy right now is dash get upstairs up. and look around. <laughs> yeah, get upstairs immediately and look for the attic frantically. Yes. So that's and, and for that matter, well, the tower. I'm upstairs. I'm not sure we have the, either of those either, right? Yeah. At least I have flashlights in my. Uh, I, my yes, I have a flashlight that works now. Oh my gosh! If you're moving okay. one space, you'd be a goner. Yeah. So uh, we're not supposed to tell Jordo what we're doing though. Yep. So now at least we have a strategy. Uh, can yes. I tell him to come back? Sure, I'm good. Okay, how about you, Love? Okay, tell him to come back. Mm -hmm. By the way, notice we need to go to the balcony or tower. Do we have either of these yet? I don't think so. I said I didn't think we'd have either of those either. So yeah, yeah. There wasn't one in the garden? Track. No, no, it's literally a room yeah, called the balcony. Yeah, it'll be called that. Oh, okay. So we're looking what? for the tower, the balcony, and the attic right now. We're going to have to go Near through the, the class attic. room to get there, though. Oh, it looks like. We'll see. Okay. Mm. Do what we can. We'll see. Yeah. All right. I'll tell him he can come back. Okay.
Oh. All right. We're good. Gordo, you back? I am back. Yeah, we have our uh, marching orders on our end, and I'm sure you have yours. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out one other little thing. I've grabbed my little accessories that I need. Uh, got that set up. Um, yeah, okay, so things are a little different now. Um, moving is pretty much the same. The only difference being now that uh, if you're in the room with an opponent, so me, um, it'll cost you one extra movement to leave. So if we were in the same space, it'll take two movement to leave that space. Um, yeah. Attacking is uh, you're using your might unless you have something that lets you do it otherwise. Um, so you're rolling your dice. And then kind of what Laurier was saying earlier on, it's basically the difference is the damage type of thing. And the um, defender can hit the attacker, right? Like, yes. If negative the other direction, they would take the damage. Right. 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 Um... I'm just trying to figure something about my damage here. I guess I can still die. Even though I'm dead. Already. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say anything else. Anyway, you have your instructions. We have ours. Yeah. Okay, so uh, basically it is the person to the... Well, you're going to go next, Laurier. So it'll basically yeah. all of you will get a turn, and then it's my turn. So, little boy blue, or little boy green, I guess. I am going north, east, and then north. Okay, north, east, and north. So one, two, three. How much do you got? I have, I believe, four. Yeah, one more. So I go up the stairs. Okay. And that's your turn. Uh, Jenny. Uh, yes. What would you like to do? Uh, let's Hang on. See. Let me get rid of Discord because it's like right in my way. There we go. I'm just, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and probably move the camera to the other side of the screen. <laughs> I, I have a feeling. Okay. <laughs> I will go north. Uh, actually, you can't go north. Oh, darn it. That's technically right, not so... a door. <laughs> Just the front door. All right, so then I'm going west. One. North. Two. North. Three. East. Four. Is that all your movement? Yeah, I have four movements. Okay. Uh, yep. I'm going to move the dice over here. And Monsieur Ox. I have four speed, so let's see what I'm going to do. So. I'll try going south. Try going south? Yeah. Uh, south is one of those. It's a dusty hallway. That's one movement. You can still move. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll try going east. East. Yeah. Uh, east is the chapel. Okay, hang on. Mm -hmm. um, it's safe to assume we're not going to the basement, hey? <laughs> we're not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty confident. You can't make me talk. I'm pretty confident we're not going to the basement. <laughs> So I'm gonna move. Your own I'm gonna to move the second floor over a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, you moved into the chapel. Uh, once per yeah. game, if you end your turn here, gain one sanity. But you get an event. Let's get your event. Uh, grave dirt. This room is covered in a thick layer of dirt. You cough as it gets on your skin and in your lungs. You must attempt a might roll. On a four plus, you shake it off, gain one might. On a zero to three, something is wrong. Keep this card, take one point of physical damage at the start of each of your turns. Discard this card if an item card increases one of your traits or if you end your turn uh, in the balcony, gardens, graveyard, gymnasium, larder, patio, or tower. 
Uh, so you must roll a might roll, and your might is five. Do you want Do you want the trader rolling for you now, or do you want uh, Jason to roll for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason. Jason. Okay. Right. So you get to roll five dice. Five dice. And you need four uh, a four or better. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. One you gain yes. one might. All right. Uh, ox. Oh, wait a minute. Did I skip my turn then? Hang on. Do I have to finish there or can I keep going? How did I get you out have of order to here? There because there is yeah, that was an item. You did not. You did not. Because there is an event. Your... Okay, wait a minute. So. Laurier what? went to get upstairs. Yes, and. You had gone right before me, so it's me, Jason, Andrea, then it's going to be you. Oh, I've got Jason and Andrea out of order. Oops, sorry. Oh, yeah, she should have went before me. Yeah, okay, doesn't matter. Okay, we're good. So now it's my turn, right? Yes. But so so uh, my, my turn finishes because there was an event? Yes. Yes. Yeah, those rules okay. are still, those are still, all those rules are still in play. Um yeah, the only thing that really has changed now is for me for rooms, it uh, I don't get the negative effects of rooms. I could only get the positives. Okay. So, so if like those rooms so, that per that you get damaged or whatever, I can just ignore them. And uh, by the way, don't forget to spin up your sanity as well. By one. Oh yeah, she finished in that room. Yeah. She gets to spin up. You get an extra sanity. sanity. Oh, nice. Um. So, I guess I really need to come up the stairs. So, one, two. I got over that ticking noise. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to see what I want to do. Three. So, what do I got? I got six movement. Oh, jeez. Um, four. <laughs> so do I avoid negative effects of cards too, or just rooms? That's a good question. Sorry, I just got to look that up. Because I've got a card that does bad things, but do I? Does it matter? Um, no, I'm gonna think I'm gonna stay right where I am, and I'm gonna gain some knowledge. I, I was told that it didn't work anymore. No, once per it, game. Once per game per player, essentially. Oh, okay. Um, but player. I'm also going to, before I end my turn, I'm going for the safe. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. How much knowledge do you have? How much knowledge do I have? I've got four. And that's before you gain it? That's, that's uh, before, before I gained it, gained. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a knowledge roll? Well, uh, so I need a five or better. Two. Uh, and I think that the uh, instruction with two is not only does the safe not open, but you take damage, right? Yeah. That's yeah what but it doesn't work on him. That's what I got to find out. It might. It might still might. do me some physical mm -hmm. damage, which is okay. Yeah. Hey, like one. Broke a fingernail or something. Yeah. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Playing the haunt. After the haunt begins, explorers can die. Uh, um, trader can die, but still win. It's if the even if the trader dies, as long as the monsters can complete the haunt's goals, the monsters can turn 
during a haunt of someone who has <coughs> traitor's new powers. You can be... You can choose not to be affected by an event card or the bite omen card. If you choose to be affected by a card... After you finish... Oh, I guess I could have chosen not to be affected by that card. If you do so after reading it, but before making any rolls or doing any other actions stated on the card. Well, I'm going to take the damage because I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll take it off the speed because that's not that... Not that it matters. Cool. Um, and the counter goes up. Okay, the counter. How does that counter work exactly? Uh, I will tell you in one second. The counter at one means the basement is partially flooded. Okay. And by the way, the collapsed room, mm -hmm. we don't have to roll after the first... The subsequent players don't have to roll the speed roll, so... That's handy. Good. Good. Okay, now we're back to Laurier. We'll do it, we'll do it in proper order this time. Yeah. I'm doing east, south, south, south. Oh, one, two, three. Uh, nope. Let's shuffle these up. Okay, ground, no. Basement, no. Upper, the gallery. Uh, the gallery, you can choose to fall to the ballroom if it's in the house. If you do, take one die of physical damage, but you have to do an omen first. I choose not to. Okay, it's not going to matter right now anyway. Skull, uh, skull, cracked and missed, missing teeth. If you take mental damage, you can take all of it as physical damage instead. Hey, so that's good. And there's no haunt roll, so that doesn't matter. So, so now that skull is an item I have. Yes. Can you keep track of that, please? Thank you. Okay. Uh, next is ox and, this time. Okay, so I have so I have to stop there because I yes. have a card. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Your your movement's done. Okay. I feel like I, I just moved. But... Nope, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah. Um, we went out of order the first time. I'm not sure how that happened, but we did. Okay. Okay, I'll go west, west. Uh, nope. The storeroom. And that is an uh, no, that's an item. Pickpockets gloves. Helping yourself has never seemed so easy. When you're in the same room as another explorer, you can discard this item and take any item that the explorer is carrying. Okay. So you can steal something. Okay. <clears throat> and, and does that end her turn? Yep, it's an it's same like as soon as you expose a a thing. A card. Okay. Yep. Uh, me, Jenny. North, up the stairs. So one, two. And Laurier, you said if I go east through the other room, I don't have to do the roll for that. You don't. Yep. Okay, so let's go east, east. Three, four. Upper. It's a bedroom. With an uh. e with an event. What event is happening in the bedroom? Don't want to know. <laughs> if you do. Image, image in the mirror. Uh, there is an old mirror in this room. Your frightened reflection moves on its own. You realize that it is from another time. Your reflection writes on the mirror, this will help. Then it hands you an item through the mirror. Draw an item card. Hey, nice. That's Ooh. not bad. Lucky sure. stone. A smooth, ordinary-looking rock. You sense it will bring you good fortune. 
After you attempt a roll of any kind, you can rub the stone once to re-roll any number of those dice. Discard this item once you use it. Oh. That's amazing. Hmm. A free nice. re-roll. Of whatever dice you want, not all dice. Uh, that's Jenny. It is my turn. Yeah, that's four. Um... I feel I can safely dispose of a lot of this. <laughs> but we're not going to. Instead, we're going to go one, two, and explore over here. Oh, look, it's the attic. That's an interesting room. Uh, when exiting, you must attempt a speed roll of three plus. Uh, if you fail, lose one might, but continue that we're going. And you know what? The attic's kind of cool, so I'm going to put an item in there. Um, and I'm going to... Oh, i got to get an event here. Hang on. Event. So I can choose to ignore things before rolling. The voice, I'm under the floor, buried under the floor. The voice whispers once, then is gone. You must attempt a knowledge roll. On a four plus, you find something under the floor, draw an item card. Zero to three, you dig and search for the voice, but to no avail. Pfft, why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't lose anything for that. Uh, what am I rolling? What did I just say? Knowledge. knowledge, and my knowledge is four. And what do I need? Four. Four. Oops, that's three. Two. Oh, well. Didn't find I anything. wanted to was under the floor. <laughs> uh, so oh, now, nice event. where were those earlier? The counter goes up to two, and for your information, the basement is now fully flooded. Okay. Uh, Laurier, what would you like to do? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Before my turn is over, I can't move anymore. But I can make an attack. So I will make an attack. Can you attack? Um, I'm going to attack the item. Nobody's attacking. <laughs> <laughs> I need to roll. How does this work? Special attack rules. I might roll of three plus to damage. And my might is three. That's three. Oh. That's one. Okay, now my turn's over. <laughs> this game is really hitting. Gone well for the heroes, by any chance. <laughs> oh, you guys can't even see this on screen. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's move the... Uh... Yeah, I think the camera can be just removed from this whole equation, I think. Because <laughs> uh, all the action's happening somewhere over there. Yeah, so that corner, you could just um, and use that to ro with roll it, dice. You know what? I'm going to move the basement way over here, because I'm pretty <laughs> sure nobody gives a shit about it. <laughs> it's flooded, anyway. I mean, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go there right now. Uh, it sounds like a great place to hang out. I'm going to move this down like this. Uh, okay. Where was the chapel? That was down here. Yeah. Um, that is what we're doing. Okay, so... Uh, locked safe is still in play. I just dropped all my instructions. Um, cool. Uh, whose turn is next? Laurier. Where are you? You're way down here. Yeah. So obviously I'm going to go north, north, north. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. You still have one movement, don't you? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just debating whether to explore a room or move towards you. Why would you come towards me? Why do you care you about like this? What do you care about the item for? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. You don't need that item. <laughs> Go north. See what's in there. Okay, uh, where is Jenny? 
I'm one. Jenny's. Jenny right. is right here. Okay. Jenny's hanging out in the bedroom waiting for you. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> Sorry, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna move west. You're going west. Okay. <laughs> you scared him off, Jenny. Ah, uh, well. You know. <laughs> she will, right? Uh, and that is all your movement, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, Ox, where are you? There you are. You got four movement, if I'm got the numbers right. Yeah. What would you like to do? East, north, north, north. Into a new room. Yes. Is there are there any new rooms? Uh, probably. Yes. There's, There's a one. few rooms. Oh, let's look at another one then. Okay. Balcony. An omen card. Dog. Companion. This mangy dog hey. seems friendly. At least you hope it is. Hey. Uh, gain one might and sanity now. Lose one might and sanity if you lose custody of the dog. Uh, take a small monster token to represent the dog. Oh my goodness, let me find a token. Uh, this is not a small monster, but it should be visible on camera, so... Okay, so gain one might and one sanity? Yeah, and that's your dog right there. Um, put it in your room. Uh, once during your turn, the dog can move to any unexplored room up to six spaces away using doors and stairs and then return. Uh, it can pick up, carry, and or drop one item before it returns. The dog isn't slowed by opponents. It can't use one-way passages or rooms that require a roll. It can't carry items that slow movement. This omen can't be dropped, traded, or stolen. Where's the dog like... 20 turns ago. <laughs> yeah. So, it looks Wait. like you can send the dog ahead, which isn't doesn't feel like it's going to help you a whole lot. But hey, you got a dog. I got a dog. Um, Jenny. Yes. I'm in the bedroom. Pretty much uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> That would be west, west, northwest. One, two, three, four. Okay. Sure. Um, I, I am going to attack. <clears throat> bite him, dog. Bite him. Okay, so I, my might is three, unfortunately. And I just need a three or better. That's a three or better. God dang. That's two tokens. Um, what is your might right now? It's four. I don't like that I have... Uh, how much sanity do I got to work with? Four. Jesus. I'm not a very strong uh, dead person. Um I'm kid, just, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hang out here. I'm, I'm good with that. So we're going to up the thing. Should be at. Did it go up to three? It did not. Three. And now, the basement is fully flooded, and the ground floor is partially flooded. Okay. The first main floor is partially flooded now. Uh, where's uh, Luigi? There's Luigi. Okay. So, obviously, I'm going to go north, west, north. One, two, three. Now, can I just take the item right now, or? Um, I don't know what your rules say about the item. It says, uh... You can carry it. It says I can carry it. Very slowly. But it takes two movement to move it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the item you can move it with you. Yeah. Or you could try to punt the little kid. Well, no, but I'm picking up the item so that the little kid can't attack it anymore. Oh, I think the item stays there. 
I think the item can be attacked. Put hold it above your head so she can't attack you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So can I attack you right now, Jordo, while carrying yes. this item? I believe you can. I don't see why you can't. Because I think that's the play here. I have four might, you have three. At the moment. But I got my lucky my lucky idol that I can rub. What does the lucky idol do? It lets me add, add two dice to the roll at the, <laughs> at the cost of sanity. Um, and uh, so each time you roll, it, it does that, essentially? Each time I choose to use it, yes. Each time you choose to use it. Yeah. Then you have to choose before you see the results of the roll. Yes. Okay, you mm -hmm. know what? I'll do it. I'll attack. You will attack, attack me. So, Jason, please roll four dice for me. Hold up, hold up. I'm trying to decide uh, if, if five yeah. is worth it. Uh, then how much sanity do I have to work with? Um, I'm at four. No, that's the wrong way. I got a little bit of sanity to work with. Sure. I'm going to rub my statue. Alrighty. Okay, hang on. Let me take my sanity down. Okay. Uh, I got three. I got five. So oh, you take sorry, two man. damage. Physical? No. Is it physical or just might or what is it? How does that work? Hang on. Uh, you're taking two of something. Yeah, and I choose what. And also... I have the skull. Oh, no, no, that's right. That's for mental only. Or which one was it? Uh, skull. I had something. Yeah, it's mental had... damage. Okay, so it's only uh, so skull's the only one I have to uh, work with currently? I that's... don't have any other items? That's the only item nope. I see, yeah. Okay, Ooh. let me see here. I was going to say, do I yoink your item instead of giving you damage? I don't think that's of any value. Um, whoever rolls the higher result defeats your opponent and inflicts physical damage. So the yep. choice is yours. Speed or might. I guess I need to take one to speed and one to might. So my might goes down to three. My speed stays at four, but I'm uh, playing it close here. But remember, you've got to use two speed to move one yeah, space still... with the. Yeah, I know. But someone else can okay. take the boat off me right now. What? It's a yeah. boat? I had no idea it was a boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that was uh, Little Boy Blue. Yeah. Uh, I think technically you still have your movement. Well, I have one movement. Oh. I can't. I okay. can't. Okay. Uh, we are now on Ox. Where's Ox? Yeah. What is you and your dog doing? So, remember also, if you need to drop items, you can. Like, if you want to drop it for someone else to pick up. I don't know that there's any items yeah. that are super valuable for that, but... Isn't... isn't... well... Hmm. Uh, let's see where I'm going. Open up more rooms on the top floor. That's what that would be, but... Andrea, I think you need to make your way over here. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get to your same room as you, but that's probably not going to do anything useful. Because I okay. can't take out the boat with me. Pack the kid. The kid? There's a kid in the Oh, yeah. This <laughs> He's the kid. <laughs> He's the kid, yeah. <laughs> the traitor. Attack the traitor. <laughs> Is he gonna die this turn? No, I don't think so. But you can, um, uh, weaken him. That's the okay. Thing. Well, I'm well, confused. Um, I'm confused on kind of the monster I am. I'm not sure how I can actually courage. die. Courage. We just we dismember you. Yeah, maybe. Okay, sorry. What are you doing? I guess I am going to go and meet with all you other kids who are hanging out you? in the four. attic. So one, two, three, four. No, actually, oh, okay. Pounds, didn't so just make it. He got tired. He had to. He had to stop. He's a little winded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenny is not winded though. She can't attack you. 
Uh, Jenny um, can come in and. I, I'm, I'm saying ox can. No, ox ox isn't in the same room as me. He got tired. Oh no! Nope, nope, I didn't make it quite. <laughs> He's well, like, oh I'm my god, go I'm not in as much shape as north. I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And instead of attacking, just take the boat and go. Okay, but there's an additional. Take one. I gotta use an additional movement if you're in the room two, right, Matt? Uh, yeah, so if it costs you an extra to move the item, it'll cost you another extra because I'm in there, so it'll cost yeah, you so it'll take three. three but you, used, you have three, right? Yeah, no, I do. Yeah. And that's what I'll do is I'll take the the boat from Laurier's character and I will exit uh, north, south. South. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is now my turn. Um... <laughs> So do you guys actually pick up the item? Yes. We can. That's why my character's moving slower. Yeah, but I'm just... See, my special attack rules say I can just directly attack it. doesn't say... Well, it would be... doesn't say I have to knock really it out of your hands or anything first. I'm assuming I just have to be in the room with it, right? I would assume so, yes. Yeah, so... Does it uh, say how much health the thing has? Or And if so, are you allowed to share that? Um... No. Yes. You don't know that. It does. <laughs> I'm attacking it right now, though. No. Unsuccessful. Oh, now, are you slow, are you slow to movement because you left the room because of I, in it? I am not slowed at all. You don't get slowed, okay. No. Alright. Uh, we'll raise the... The thing. To four. four. And I will now tell you... That the basement and ground floor are fully flooded. If that's information of value to you. Yep. Uh, where are we at? Uh, Laurier. Okay. How much movement do you have, Laurier? I still have four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go south. I'm going to take the boat from you and then carry it <laughs> east. <laughs> yep. Okay. And that uh, uses up all my movement. Yep. Uh, ox. Okay, I will go east. So that's two movements. Um, boat and uh, continue this uh, little relay of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, have we found the place we're taking it to yet? Yes. Yes, we have. Okay. Um, so just take it south. Okay, I'm taking it south. So you dropped the item and you picked up the item. I'm not dropping it down the hole. You need to off. <laughs> Oh no, that's in the adjacent. Anyway, <laughs> they they passed it. Just just chuck the boat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenny, I assume you're running away. You can Jenny, what's your might? My might is four. Should we try and force Jenny to lose sanity or take damage potentially? I don't lose sanity. You're talking about him losing sanity. Yeah, I'm talking about him. To force yeah, him. He's, yeah, he's, he's not funny. Too. I don't know. I'm just I'm just realizing that right now, you can't you can't keep on the leapfrogging right now because it costs you two yeah, to leave I, the room. Yeah, two to leave the room, and it would take me two to get to where the boat is. Yes. No, it'd be two, three. You'd be well, the... but then I can't do anything. No. Yeah. yeah but... but you can set yourself yeah, we... up on the next leg of the journey. Not that I'm trying to help you, but. Yeah, true. yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know where you're where going, but I'm just... <laughs> or I can attack the kid and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Those are the options. Mm -hmm. What do you guys want to do? Both are valid. You can set yourself up to pick it up and carry it, or you can just uh, attack and try to slow him down and then run away. True. 
Yeah, we could do that. See if I can get some damage. Let's do that. I'm gonna attack you. You're gonna you're gonna punch a little girl. Hell yeah. Okay, well the little girl's <laughs> the little, little girl. The, the little girl's gonna rub her a magic uh, idol. Hang on, how many do I got to work with? One. Uh, That's the second time you lose sanity. I'm just deciding if I want to do it. Oh, we started with four though. Um, you're at four. I'm at three. Might. I might want to save that. You can rub the idol to make any trait, combat, or event roll to add two dice. I think I might save that for attacking something else. Like I wonder what. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only gonna roll three. All right, I'm rolling four. One. Five. What'd you get? I have five. Oh shit! I'm taking four. Oof. Well, I, I'm thinking about even making it more. I'm gonna use my lucky stone and re-roll the one other dice. Oh, okay. Oh no! Keep, no, save that. Save that. I'm uh, like wait, how right what, what's your stats right now? Uh, how how many dials do you have to work with, Jordo? Hang on. Four. Okay, there we go. I'm still at a might of three. But my speed has dropped significantly. So I can't but catch you as quick. Now the question is, wait, so do so you would only be rerolling one die then if you use your thing? Yes, but it would inflict any one or two more damage if I hit on it. Or if you hit, split. yeah. What else am I going to do with it? That's fair. Okay, do it if you want. Yeah, and I can do it afterwards, as it says on the card. So I'm going to reroll the one dice that didn't get anything. And it missed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then your, move. your stone is gone now, right? Yeah, that's gone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So set yourself up in the collapsed room. So that'd be two out. So go to where Ox is, then, right? So that's two, two, three, three. They, oh, four. That, oh, I see what you're saying. So she steps there, and I can go. Yep, got it. Yep, sounds good. Oh, wait a minute. That's me. Hang on. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. We don't want you over there. <laughs> um, who's next? Me. Um, one, two. I think we're going to swing. And we're going to swing, lose some sanity. Oh, man. Oh, I should have used that. Darn it. And that is another token. And then I increase that. And that should be at five. And for your information, the basement and ground floor are fully flooded. The upper floor is partially flooded. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what partially flooding does. Two fewer spaces. Two fewer spaces, what does that mean? You can move two fewer spaces, or...? Yeah, but you can always move at least once. Okay, so basically movements moved is decreased by two. Yeah. Okay. So our movement is going to be decreased by two. Yes. Yes. And we are on Luigi. My turn. So, move south. And can I... Hmm. Let's see here. So that cost me two. No, we're just... You lose two off your movement, so you only have two movement. If you have four. Okay, so I am I only have one left, but it would cost me one extra because because of the... you'd have to get away from him or her. Yeah. Ah, uh, let's see here. And I have no items left other than the skull. Right. You have the skull. Yes. Okay, and so I can't move any more than where I am. Uh, how many? 
How many Sorry. clicks do I have? Yes. I think I have like two or three here. Uh, where am I at? Oh, hang on. That's the wrong way. I've got two there and one there. So I've got three to work with. So essentially, if you take four damage, you're dead. Yes. And you've which, used which your I sanity thing three times. I still have sanity to work with. You still have one. I have, yes. May end up being a sacrifice play for me. Um, I will attack you. Okay. I will go further insane. Yeah. Because that way, yeah, you have to do it to survive. I have to do it so that you can't hit the boat as hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So, Jason, roll three for me. Oh, three. Yeah. Three, you say? Yeah. All right. Good roll. Come on. Bad roll. Three. Three. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm dead. I have a, I had three to work with, so okay, so my character is dead. Uh, let's see, does that anything fun happen it. there? Come up here, then. <laughs> nope, that's that's it. Yeah. So, at least that means that uh, so now you, you guys are set up he, to, do, uh, to do it well. His skull is uh, sitting there if someone wants it. It's kind of useless. Don't pick it up. <laughs> but it's it's there. <laughs> if someone if someone's looking for it, throw item, it at someone. I I don't know. No, no. There's <laughs> nothing indicating it can be used as a weapon. Anyway, we'll just we'll leave uh, your body right there as a reminder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ox. I will remember you. Ox, what do you like? What do you want to do? I was asking uh, Luigi to come up here so that I can know what the actual location is that we are targeting. <laughs> okay. The uh, okay. I, I will. Well, I don't think it matters to tell Matt at this point. We got to go east I and guess. north. Yeah, east and north, and we're safe. North of where I am. Okay. Well, yeah. Then I've got enough enough oop, to move this boat a little bit, anyway. You can always move at least one space. That's literally what it says. Yeah, I can move at least one space. So, yeah, it looks like that's what's going to be. I'm dragging the boat. Dragging the boat. Me and my dog and me. I forgot your dog was in the other room. <laughs> and my boat. Do you want to sit? Hey, do, you want your dog to, do you want your dog to go pick up the skull or just leave the skull by, by Laurier's dead body? It literally just converts mental damage into physical damage. Well, you they might want it to remember you by like this. <laughs> okay, my turn. It's like the grave marker. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh Jason. Oh, turn. Jason. Yes. Oh my God. Sorry. It'd be me. Yes. Hand me the boat. Hand you the boat. Okay, you got the boat. Now I'll take one step to the north. That's about all I can move. Yes. Okay. That's that's it. Okay. I think so. <laughs> At least it wasn't farther than that. I was okay. afraid it might be stiff. I still have three movement. One, two. And I think I don't have the sanity to use. Nope, I don't. So we're just going to roll our three. And I need... Uh, nope. Unsuccessful. You're attacking? I'm, You're attacking the boat. I'm attacking the boat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Lori is dead. Ox, your turn. But don't yeah, forget, I'm going counter. north. What? What? Matt forgot to move the counter. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thank you for reminding me. Let it. Hang on. Boop. So now this room will be That should be flooded. six, and six means the whole house is fully flooded for the remainder of the game. Yeah, which means that you move four fewer spaces to a minimum of one, and you take two points of unpreventable physical damage per turn. Oh, yeah, I'm in there. Okay. So, 
I don't know if that deals damage to you right now, Matt, or... Me? I don't take any damage. He doesn't take damage. It's not... Okay. He wouldn't take it. Okay. Well, I, then... I am safe from whatever you guys are doing. Well, then, Ox, you know what you're doing. Okay, well, um... In the room with the boat, right? You're, no. You're south of it. You're, you're south of the boat. One space boat. I would like to move into the room with the boat. Okay. And... We both hop in and we say, See ya! <laughs> <laughs> exactly, we win. And congratulations. Yeah, once all the living heroes, so not me, obviously, are in the balcony <laughs> or tower with the rowboat, you can escape. The tower? The oh, balcony. balcony. Oh, I think it's so the tower I'm going to. Either one. <laughs> okay. the that's why, that's why uh, it was important for us to continue exploring even after you found the boat. Yep. Because we didn't. We you had you had one hit point left on the boat, just so you know, like those two missed rolls. Oh. <laughs> wow! Yeah, but see, this is why I did that sacrifice play to force you to use I was your good sanity. Choice. I feel yeah, bad. Good job. The attack. You are a courageous warrior, love. Okay, so what I don't understand is I'm a ghost. How do I die? Like that makes no sense. Are you actually <laughs> considered dead? I'm a ghost. When the medallion. He's a ghost. It says he's a ghost. I'm a ghost. Oh. I'm okay. literally a ghost. So that's why I'm going, how do I how do I take damage? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, you're asking how this makes any sense when you have a hallway that literally goes behind the entrance. <laughs> I think sense left the building a long time ago, my friend. <laughs> he did, couldn't get out the front door. Actually, it, it, I mean, it helped that I I'm, I uncovered the uh, item. Like, yes. When you guys had to come get it, it's like I got two free hits in before you even got there. I don't think hey, good, job. Do good job, good job. Hi, Matt, you just keep moving around the board, so you just keep losing stats when we attack you, but you don't actually die die, I think. Right? I don't know. It doesn't say. So okay. I'm I, I gotta look that one up and maybe someone who's smarter can explain that. That's the way I would take it is like the you know, you Because what were what was your win condition? Like just like what is like you get the boat out or do you kill we me? Get the, we get no, we the didn't boat. have to kill you, no. Okay. We, we get, get the... the boat and we get all surviving heroes, which have to be at least Into the half same room. of the heroes rounded up. To the balcony or tower, with the boat. Yeah. Okay. We need to have at least two heroes. In so yeah, I got room. I gotta look it up about how the the monsters die because I don't know how you kill a ghost. That is an excellent question. Yeah. yeah. But what do you guys think? That was, that was okay. pretty fun. That was cool. I'm glad, I'm glad I own it. I wish I would have played it. Good. Yeah, it's. I mean, there's. Uh, I think there's like 50 different haunts. So, I mean, the odds of you playing the same thing again are, are low. Okay. Um, yeah. the, the rooms will never be the same. Like, you'll never have the yeah, same setup. Um, this is probably a much Definitely. easier to play in person. <laughs> yeah, I would yeah, agree. Yeah, that much is true. <laughs> I think uh, we did well, though. No, it's not, it's not bad. <laughs> I mean, it helps when you can throw away half the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just um, throw it all away. Water um, damage. Um, but yeah, it's interesting how the game just kind of turns on a dime there, and it kind of helped yeah. helped me that I was right by a set of staircase to get right back up to the top. <laughs> well, yeah, that was. I was calling it too. I called it the second you said those stairs up that it could be used by the monster to get <laughs> to a screen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what ended up happening? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah, but no, that's that's fun. Um, I mean, and and you'll notice earlier, Andrea was trying to to find a room, and so was oh, I. Oh, you guys forgot Down to do your there. exiting roll on the attic. Oops. Oh. Uh. Well, <laughs> let's see. We would have had. Two rolls of might. No, of th uh, it of, of speed. speed. It was speed. speed. Oh, of speed to potentially lose might. Yeah. It would not have made a difference if I had lost might. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't have made any for me because I didn't lose any might the entire time. Okay. My speed was still. I, just, I forgot so. that was even there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we were so caught up in the uh, frantic yeah. escape, but we forgot that. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> so, did not make any ultimate. And by the way, I had a, 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 a four roll. <laughs> Matt, you monster! You left the dog in the collapsed room. I'm oh. not responsible for your dog. <laughs> if you're not gonna fall if, down if, now if that you just got into the room already. <laughs> to be fair, I, I left the dog in the balcony for half the game. So I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to move. <laughs> left to die. Yeah. It's not going to fall down at all. In fact, it's going to swim in the collapsed room. He's, he's not a very good dog. <laughs> swim the doggy paddle. Uh, but yeah, I enjoy this game. I, I like that it's a little bit of a, a variety. You don't really know what you're getting into, what you need to do. Um, I like the... Yeah, that's fun. I like the mystery end of it. Um, yeah, yeah. It is, it is cool. One thing it was I what I hoped it would be. Hmm? What was that, Lori? One thing I will say, though, is I do wish I had actually gotten a chance to get some items. That's the... the started. Yeah. That's the... That's the... Well, even me, like, I was very lacking in items. Like, I... Yeah, and really... my, my stats were not really all that good. Like, the beginning, I was just like, we're supposed to be picking up things and getting health. It's like we're running into things and losing health. Yeah, I mean, I would have gone upstairs to take a go at have a go at the safe, but then my flashlight batteries ran out and I had no way to get my movement back. And then the haunt started before I could get to the safe. Yeah, well, that's what happens, right? You're not. You think you're yeah. prepared, but you're not. Yeah. And that's sometimes it's just having the right people in the right place, and it just didn't work that way. <laughs> yeah. Well, Unfortunately, it worked, out. It worked out pretty well for us. No, but I, I'm saying with the, the safe and up the, a lot on the top floor. Yeah. What was it? The safe in the vault that we needed knowledge, but unfortunately, Ox didn't have the best knowledge, so it was like, well, yeah. that's. And, and, and I had the knowledge. I had the knowledge. I no, and then you there. got stuck on the other side of the board with no flashlight. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> wrong people in the wrong spots, unfortunately. Yeah. But I will say, like, I've played now a three-player game and a four-player game, and I think the four is much better, and I think the more players you have, the better this game becomes. Yeah, I, I think there's probably going to be a sweet spot, though, because it says you can do six. Six I could see being too much. Possibly. Possibly. But I'd be curious what five is like. Um, but four is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Way, way more balance. At, I, at, I, I agree. I remember you guys playing three and it being kind of... Well, the problem with the three player is the haunt started quickly and we were not prepared for it. Like, we didn't we didn't have half of this these tiles out last time. Wow. So we just got smoked and we just... We couldn't run away fast enough. <laughs> we definitely say this game was very balanced because you, you were one hit point away from finishing it. We... I don't know if we could have gotten much further if we had to get any further, so... Yeah, like, I mean, I, and I, I missed two rolls, right so, I mean, the game could have ended easily. Yep. Well, I missed some rolls, too, as well. I got one roll against you in particular. Well, both two rolls against you. I missed, messed up both my rolls against you. Yeah, that's the game, though. Which I like. Again, I like the dice kind of determine yeah. whether, whether you're successful or not. I'm just saying, though, you're saying about your missed rolls, don't forget yeah. mine, too. Um... <laughs> My only complaint with this game is the production quality is definitely not on par with some of the games out there. Like, it's it's a cheap-looking game. How much is it to purchase? Uh, there's a new edition out, and I don't remember what the price is. Like, if I was buying it today, I would buy the third edition. I wouldn't buy this edition, I don't think. Does the new set come with the better, like, dial things for the characters? Uh, not these dials, but they're better dials than what are in the current set. Okay. Um, the miniatures are better. Um, they've actually got little rings around them, colored rings, so you can oh, actually so you, you can identify them. <laughs> yeah, you can you can know who's who, right? Yeah. Um, I think some of the tokens are just nicer looking instead of like saying item one or something. Like they're just better, better looking things. Um, I think yeah, otherwise the tiles pretty much are the same. Like it's maybe the art just changed a little bit, but um, overall it's it's. It's the same game, but yeah, I would if I was purchasing it today, not having any of them, I would buy the third edition. Sure. Yeah, the third edition is like sixty-five bucks on Amazon. I don't oh. know if that's the normal price for it, or that's probably in the ballpark. That's Canadian, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I got the second edition. It does edition. look like it has some nice miniatures. I I bought this one, uh, this second edition off Facebook Marketplace used, so. Um, okay. 
And I think I paid 40 bucks for it and the expansion. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Canadian, so, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you're willing to find a bargain, check, take a look on Facebook. You'll maybe someone, especially if someone bought the third edition, um, maybe mm -hmm. they're maybe they're ditching their second editions, which, honest to God, well, I, I, the second edition set. I just don't have the extra thing. Yeah, this is. Uh, I don't even know if this is still printed. Like, it's a WizKids product, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they made a little upgrade thing, and they came with uh, extra dice. I think Mike has it in shop. So I think oh, there you go. Get him to hook you up, because yeah, if you're if you're yes. keeping the second edition, I would buy the upgrade pack in a heartbeat. Yeah, I, I, I think so. It's it's so it's. Just a, I think the third edition is actually by someone else. Uh, yeah, it's not by what is this is Avalon Hill, I think, who printed this yeah. one. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. someone new who printed the new one. But it's still the same game. Like it's it's okay. the same concept. I think they add a few different things to the story, like they give you some scenarios to go through. Um, but otherwise, it's same old, same old. Did they ever do an expansion? I know they did like Betrayal Boulder. Uh, no, stuff, they did do but... one. It's called the uh, Widow's something or other. Oh, oh, Widow's Walk, Walk is what it's uh, yeah. saying on Amazon. Yeah. I think I do have it. I've got that somewhere. I haven't even opened it up, so I have no idea yeah. what's in that one. I think I have it. Yeah. That sounds familiar. Uh, but I assume it just adds probably tiles and cards and yep. bad things. <laughs> Actually, I think it adds one more level to the house, too. Because wow. uh, I think I saw on one of the online things, they had an extra, they had a roof uh, symbol on one of the one of the cards. Oh, it had 50 new haunts, is what it says. Oh, 50 new haunts, so like 100 oh, haunts. Yeah. That's wow. a lot. Like, you will never play that many games of this to play all of them. Yeah, 50 new haunts, 20 new room tiles, 30 new cards, 11 items, 11 events, 8 omens, 78 new tokens never explored new floor the roof okay neat i think maybe i will break that out then <laughs> but not on stream because i could barely fit three levels on the stream <laughs> i actually thought about making multiple levels and i would just pull a tray off when <laughs> that would be a good idea i, I just had I, I just got to figure out a better system for this game because it just it runs out of room real quick <laughs> i noticed uh, but yeah, that's uh, Betrayal. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, joining me for this.